Welcome back to Rune Factory 5. We conquered the Gadius grasslands and we took down a big massive spiky armadillo and yeah it was great like wasn't too challenging. We managed to conquer it like pretty easily so that was cool. I'm excited to see what happens next actually and hopefully we'll get some heart events today as well. That would be great. All right we're gonna go for Chlorica's outfit today because I'm feeding in a Chlorica kind of mood why not <laughs> okay let's go see what today brings us so hopefully some money <laughs> that would be great as well because money is something we really need of course but we'll see all right let's go and check our fields and just like see like in general what is going on today that would be fantastic I haven't really yeah, I was going to say it hasn't really, like, spawned in properly there, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, let's try out our watering can as well. We're, we're full, with, like, my, it's actually full with water, so that's good. All right, yeah, I need to get into the habit of, like, using it, like, charging it and stuff. It's so super handy. I can't wait to upgrade this again. You know what? We might be able to. I think it only required, like, one silver to upgrade it. Shall we? Shall we upgrade it? Since I am actually using my watering can recently. Because there was just, like... The, a mad amount of rain that was happening so I didn't really like need to upgrade it I just like I don't know if I'm ready I don't know if like my skills high enough for this so I don't I don't know maybe let's do a little bit of like practice first so let's put some like um scrap metal in here and do it like this. Apparently I'm only supposed to use one so I don't know if this like really does anything like we'll we'll see but apparently it's better to, to use just like one scrap metal or something and to uh, as opposed to using like 20 which is like what I was doing of course this is going to take a lot longer to do it this way instead of using like 20 of them but <laughs> let's just see if like this helps okay so I leveled to 22 so we're level 22 now I'm wondering if the RP is a little bit lower for this now we're still on 780 you see I don't know if this is gonna work I don't know if it would like actually let me craft this it looks like a it might be a little bit too high level for me but I don't know um it's gonna definitely use all my RP if I go ahead and try this which is going to be a bit of a pain at the moment because the bathhouse wouldn't be open so I'm going to leave it for now but that is something that I really want to do so yeah I'm going to like hopefully work towards that soon but if I do it now I'm not going to be able to do anything else until the bathhouse opens it's just going to be a bit of a pain I could like eat a dish or something but nope <laughs> I mean I guess I could harvest all this stuff it would probably give RP actually thinking about it but it's fine let's just like deal with this first and then I don't know how would think of something <laughs> like later I don't really know right now let's just see how the day goes and what it brings us today on this glorious just lovely spring summer day spring summer day that doesn't even make sense <laughs> spring day <laughs> I mean <laughs> what's going on I don't know <laughs> I just had a moment okay I just had a weird moment <laughs> it's fine okay let's water all this nearly there not too much much to go but yeah it's gonna be great when I start getting some upgrades here took me a little while but we're finally starting to make some awesome progress there actually so that's great okay let's sort of just stack all these things together that would be great here you go I love how easily easily it stacks like that it's fantastic okay let's go upstairs it looks like I got a story quest as well I gotta go back to the detective agency I gotta go to Terry now that we've like conquered the the task that he set for us I mean kind of it was like you know assigned by Livia but yeah like given by the detective agency it's all just very weird isn't it it's very it's very bizarre but you know we we did a good thing we just wanted to help the townspeople after all because they're a lovely bunch of folks so anything to make those guys happy is just fantastic okay we got some like turnips up here that are like dying <laughs> 
to definitely water those. It's definitely like a very, it looks like a hot day, doesn't it? It really does. I think that's why I was like saying it looked like a, it was like a summer day, but it looks really hot today. Just like the color, like of like the ground, I guess. It just looks really dry. Like my crops look really dry as well. So <laughs> make sure we just do this quickly. I think actually it's gonna be time for the shipping thing to happen as well. Do you think maybe we should ship a couple of things like quickly? There's not much up here actually but maybe the spinach and the uh oh some RP. I'll take that. Nice. I feel like I used a lot of RP just to do some some watering here. Oh no I don't want to go in that. <laughs> I thought it was the shipping box <laughs> but it's not. This is the shipping box. Okay so we want to put away the spinach and this pumpkin. That would be great actually. That would be super cool and I don't know if I've got anything else actually. Let's have a look. I'm gonna quickly see if I can grab the the produce in here but I don't know if I'm going to get it in the shipping box in time before, you know, we actually get the money. Nice. We'll have to see there's really not much time there. Might be able to get oh, right. the, the milk in. Maybe some of the honey. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of all the honey. How come I only got two today? Yeah, I only got two. I don't know where the other one was. I have no idea. I'm going to have to go back in there in a second. It's just that I want to put these in my box so, so I can make a bit of money. Like, you know before the, the shipping guy comes because we need as much as we can get. I might just get some more honey from like my fridge or something for today. I don't know what happened to that other honey if I'm being honest with you. So 5,000 in there. Great. Fantastic. That will help me out a lot today. So that's really cool. I wonder if we'll be able to buy something. I raised my shipping rate. 6 out of 10. Great. This is good. Good stuff. I'm trying to raise that for the quest. So makes me happy that we're like getting a little bit more money together now than before like that's super awesome okay so let's uh fill up my watering can so not quite done here but that's all right okay here we go water this one up yay are the potatoes done some potatoes there it doesn't look like they're done these ones might be though these ones don't oh these ones are done okay there's some rp there so i'll grab it i suppose all right yeah i feel like Charging up though takes so much more RP than like what it was taking like when I was doing it individually It really feels like it's taking a lot more for sure So I don't know she's just probably exerting way more energy than previously I suppose so that kind of is a bit annoying but it's fine, there's plenty of RP to grab from like harvesting and stuff like that, so it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. <laughs> I wonder, um, I don't think, oh, I was gonna, like, I was thinking I wanted to make some boiled spinach for Scarlet, but I still don't think I can make that yet. We need to get some more, like, utensils together and stuff. Like, that would be so awesome, but <laughs> not just yet. I don't have the stuff that I need at the moment. It's a shame that I picked up those potatoes a little tiny bit bit too late because I'm not gonna get like the money for it now and I actually just want to sell it but we'll sell it for tomorrow nearly 300 just for like three potatoes is not bad I would say so yeah that's pretty good all right I'm gonna try and raise this just a little bit more just because I really want that watering can for tomorrow like that would be so so good but we'll see if we can just get it up like another level or something like that would be be really awesome but yeah it kind of like is really boring doing this <laughs> like it really does suck increasing your your stuff like this shall we try just a couple more I want to see like how much more XP we get mm, it's probably not like the best way to do it like this I can do loads I can do 34 at once it definitely increases it faster but you use up more resources right like so it depends on like how much resources you're willing to part with I suppose <laughs> I'm just being like impatient I guess like I don't want to 
don't want to sit here all day doing it. All right, here we go. Level 25. Do you reckon that that's enough? Like, it's quite a lot that we just, like, went up. I'm wondering if I'm able to craft some of these things now. Because I failed when I crafted them before. It's gone down to 500, whereas previously it was, like, 700. So, like, it's possible. If I was full RP, I could definitely make that if I was full RP. So, when we go to the bathhouse, like, later, or maybe if I harvest some of this and just get my RP up this way. Actually, let's just do that. That was fast. It was like the first one I harvested as well. I guess I was just lucky. I don't know. All right, so let's see. I'm going to try and craft this now. Hopefully it works. Yes, success. Happy times. Yay. And there's tons of stuff here that I need as well. So it's really cool that we actually got a new watering can. Like that's that makes me happy. I don't know what to do with my old one though. I put these back in. Not sure if I'm going to have space to put everything in here. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm still using the the old one, aren't I? I have it equipped. So we want to unequip that one and then see if I can put this one away. I don't know if I've got room, but hopefully we do. We do not. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we'll just sell the old watering can then, I guess. I don't think it's really worthwhile, like, using it for upgrade, so I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna get rid of it, I think. How much- it sells for 135, not much, but yeah, we got our brand new watering can. It looks really cool. I actually really like the design of it. It looks really awesome, like a lion on the front. It looks very cool. Oh, we should fill it up because it's completely empty, and then I'm gonna figure out, and I'm just gonna, like, test it and just see, like, how big of an area it actually does like oh it charges up twice how big is that though i guess we're not gonna find out like until we actually need something that like requires watering so we'll have to like find out tomorrow to see like how beneficial it actually is but i'm sure it will be better than like what i was doing for sure <laughs> but yeah that's cool all right we're getting we're getting there we got like you know some new farming tools i got other ones to craft as well it's just gonna get some rps it requires so much rp for this right so there's the water pot we also can get, let's see, the seasoned hoe. So we're going to craft this one as well. So this is a better, a better one of those. And then I'll just get rid of like my old one. I'll just ship the old one, I think. But of course, there goes all my RP. <laughs> the RP goes down so quick when you do it like this. Um, so there's my sturdy hoe. That's the last one. Had 18 attack um, for it. And then my new one, this one, a seasoned hoe. It has 30 attack, so yes, much better, much, much better. We'll get rid of the old one. There we go. Get a bit of money there as well. Not much, but hey, <laughs> better than nothing. All right, and then we're just going to continue harvesting and hoping that we get a little bit more RP here. We're definitely going to, like, make the most out of the RP from our, like, you know, crops and stuff like that today. So that would be super awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing just, like, all the new things that we are going to be able to create today hopefully oh there's some rp there nice. great so fantastic and now we can hopefully make another farm tool so i still got some more over here that i can craft as well and then we need to start like raising it and getting like more recipe bread as well so there's a lot to do a lot to do i guess we'll make the sickle since i'm able to make that one this might be the only one i can make for now because for the silver hammer we need a branch and also for the 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 like um the axe we need sticks and stems we need sticks and stems for both of those things so that is all we can do for now but yeah not bad we actually managed to make a couple of things today so that's great we're gonna sell the old sickle that we've got as well the iron sickle is the old one now we got this nice one i like the like um the handle the handle looks nice actually it looks great it looks good good stuff <laughs> i like it okay now we're going to just continue with this there really is a lot of fodder here isn't there but i'm sure it will be handy for us so that would be great any more rp for me or are we are we all out of rp right now maybe we are yeah don't seem to be like picking up any more over there so that's a little bit sad let's go upstairs though there was a couple of things to harvest up here so hopefully a little something will drop up here as well. I also want to grab the turnips. Ah, there you go. Perfect. Oh, and there's some extra too, which I 
totally wasted <laughs> but never mind it's fine let's just do some like little gathering whilst we're up here as well then and then we'll grab that as well that would be good at least i think so there's not too much up here to actually do though like there's really not that much to actually like use our rp up on so yeah didn't manage to get that much there but it's fine okay interesting there is a couple more bits to harvest up here a few more turnips so you can probably see over there but we're gonna leave it until we're like low on rp again because yeah we've really needed rp today like really needed rp today <laughs> okay let's put that fodder away good stuff and um you know i didn't actually finish doing my animals i was kind of rushing when i was doing it first of all because i was trying to get the produce as quickly as possible but now we're not like really in a rush or anything like that so I'm just gonna take my time a little bit oops I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I'm, press, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I did not mean to eat that. <laughs> that was an accident. Oh no. I got like butter fingers today. Slippery think fingers and pressing the wrong things. It happens sometimes. It's fine. It's only a turnip dish. It could have been worse. It could have been something much worse. <laughs> so luckily, I didn't really like lose anything. So it's fine. Oh, there's the last piece of honey that I was looking for. I didn't see it because I probably because I was like in such a rush to like actually just get the stuff that I just didn't notice it there in the corner. So that sucks a bit. It's fine though. Okay, let's go to the other side and see if the sheeps and see if we got any other produce over on that side as well so that would be great my little dragon is having a nice day of sunbathing oh, today great. i reckon oh, i reckon great. he's having a grand old time <laughs> he's uh, having a fantastic time today all right let's get our clippers out just to get a couple of extra bits and pieces here i think that the the like sheep really give you a generous supply of stuff i have to say i'm really impressed with the sheep in this game i feel like they give you more like they give way more than i was expecting so yeah they're really cool i wonder if they're like the best money makers like in the game i don't know to be honest with you it just feels like they drop a lot you know so it's really cool actually all right and there's our eggs for today as well kind of wish I had a bit more eggs like maybe like maybe I should like get some more of these and tame them at some point when I eventually get my seed powers back like one day like whenever whenever like that you know happens whenever the game graces me with my powers again <laughs> that would be nice maybe one of these days <laughs> when we're just like feeling extra lucky or something I don't know <laughs> okay let's go and make some dishes let's make some more turnip dishes so we can just go around and give people some easy stuff that would be so cool that would be awesome see um once we get all our cooking utensils that's when I'm really gonna try and give gifts to like people that really like the stuff so like yeah that's what I'm sort of waiting for just to get the last kind of cooking things I still haven't done that so still got a little ways to go there all right there's my pickled turnips for the day I don't think there's anything else I can make over there it doesn't really give that much xp anymore either to be honest so it's not great honestly <laughs> but never mind it's okay all right let's put this away there you go lots of nice stone up there well not lots but a little bit so that's good I don't have that much fertilizer in there do I I'm gonna need to resupply that soon so that would be great all right in my refrigerator let's put some stuff away maybe i thought i picked up some herbs yeah i did i'm gonna put the herbs away oh yeah and i gotta ship this wool as well so we will also do that it's already 11 a.m where did the time go <laughs> i don't even know it just disappeared oh the fluff actually only sells for 7g i don't know why but i thought it sold for a lot more than that <laughs> I guess it's not the best money maker in the game then. <laughs> I just thought, I just saw like quantity, like this, it dropped so much. And I was like, wow, it's dropping so much. I must be like making millions, but I'm really not. <laughs> clearly, clearly it doesn't give you as much as I thought it did, but never mind. It's all right. <laughs> it's fine. Look at all my turnip dishes. So many turnip dishes. 
Very nice. Do we have any heart events today or anything? Oh, we got one up there with Beatrice. I'll go do that in a second. Let's go and do the story quest first since we're right next to it and we still haven't tackled that yet. So let's get on with that. Let's see what Terry thinks of our endeavors. Do we get a reward? I don't know. I feel like they said something about a reward. So I wouldn't mind one. Bang up job. Yeah, I did. I tried. I'm glad that you appreciate my work. <laughs> Captain Livia paid a handsome reward. Hmm. She did? Huh. Do I not want the reward? I don't look very pleased. Why so glum? Did something happen out there? Oh, um, no. Nothing's wrong. No, we just got like, we just encountered this really angry, weird girl. I think she might have been the dark dragon because just like the way she looked, like she had really dark hair. She had like bat wings coming out, like dragon wings or something. She had horns. She could be the dark dragon. I don't know for sure, but it's either that or maybe she's Ludmila in disguise because we still haven't encountered her yet. Because I was thinking that if she's a new villager, like, the only new villager, like, that we don't have, like, the only bachelorette that we don't have is Ludmila, right? So that's why I was thinking, maybe it's her and she's just, like, used some kind of magic to, like, look different. Or maybe she's the dark dragon. It's either, I reckon it's either one of those two things, but I suppose we'll just have to see, like, as we continue with the game. <laughs> if you say so. Okay. Alrighty. What, what do we do next, then? I want a new job. Actually, in addition to the field captain, lots of our other neighbours were eager to give their thanks. It might be worth paying them a visit. I bet the royal smiles thanks to you. I wonder. Understood. I'll get going. There's something on my character's mind. But I don't know. What's that? Pink melons? Oh my. What are those? I've never seen those before. Intriguing. Do you think we can sell them? Maybe they'll then like be in the store or something? A pink melon overflowing with cuteness attracts young girls with its adorable shape and taste. Cute. Truly heinous. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, it's a vegetable. It looks really bizarre, but alright. I'm really confused, but sure. <laughs> I don't know why they just... That was a really random reward, I have to say. Do I have any milk? Don't have any milk, do I? No, I wanted to give this guy some milk, but sadly, I think I must have sold it today or something. Never mind, I'll just give him a turnip instead. There you go. Do you like it? Good. Keep your mind sharp. All right, I'm trying. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of each other. There's nothing I haven't told you, Mossy. I mean it. You, you know, you make yourself really suspicious when you, like, say that. It's like, I didn't even think that you were hiding something. But now that you've said that, I feel like you might be. <laughs> so I don't know. All right, so I don't know what I'm meant to do with a story quest. But I'm guessing I've just got to, like, wait now. It's probably just, like, you know, one of those situations where you have to wait for the next thing to pop up, I'm assuming. So, yeah, we'll wait for those. Uh, but we got some, like, people over here. So we're gonna go, gonna go check them Hi. out. Margaret's How here. Hello, Margaret. Oh, shame I didn't have any grass on me. So I know that you just love grass and it's just so easy. I was looking around see if thing, seeing if there was like any around, but nope, there's not. But that's okay. All right. Hello. What great weather. If you ever run into wild monsters, you I can count on you to help me out, right? But don't feel like you have to handle the situation by yourself. It's much safer, it's much safer to call on your friends. This is very true. All right. That was new dialogue, though. Don't so that's like cool. All right. Here you go. I'm going to have so much fun outside today. Come on, you and me, right now. Victory will be mine. I'm not in the competitive mood right now. I'm sorry. Ooh, thank you. What'd you just make me? I wonder what this is. Let's find out. It's grape juice. It's not vampire blood. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, it looks like blood. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> like, that would be kind of weird if, they, if like, he gave me blood, right? That would be very bizarre for sure. But yeah, I'm just overthinking it, I think. Okay, Beatrice and it looks like Priscilla's down here. Can't really tell because the icons are so close to each oh, other. To but yes, so here they are. Here you go. Lovely gift for you and a lovely gift for you as well. There you go. Super amazing. Today is a perfect day for hanging out the laundry. Wow, you've got a lot of stuff there. Can Thank I help you. you carry it? Would you? Thanks. Jeez, this is heavy. What's in it? What is she doing? Not much, just a few books and a first aid kit and some emergency rations and a change of clothes and oh my god, she 
is very prepared. She likes being prepared. I get it. I get it. I I'm a bit like that sometimes too. <laughs> are you staying overnight somewhere? No. no, Lucy, Fuka and myself are taking a walk to the lake and back. My god. <laughs> just, just to go to the lake. That really is extreme, I have to say. All right, Beatrice, how's it going? Okay, is this our normal lines? I hear that you arrived at this town only recently, Multi. Have you made any friends? Yes, oh you are my friends. Just as I thought. Would you tell me the secret to making friends? Yeah, you just have to give them gifts every day. Like, that's the that's the only thing you gotta do. <laughs> okay, please let me be your friend. Aw. Now that we have become each other's first friend, I hope we can enjoy a long and happy relationship. Bless you, Beatrice. You are such a sweetie, aren't you? <laughs> Bless her. She's so cute. <laughs> I like, like, how polite she is. She really is polite, so she's, she's very kind, for sure. I like her. Okay, so we should have the event up here still, right? I hope it's still there. It's still there. Okay, good. There's also a couple of characters at the top here that we could maybe pay a visit to since they're not in like any houses or anything like that. So I'm just going to quickly just shove a turnip dish in their face just because they're right there. So that would be really good. Actually, Riker's up here, but sadly, I don't have any ice cream for you today, which sucks. I did have some. Like, I had like two days in a row with ice creams. Oh, look at everyone. There's so many people down here. I love it when there's just like so many people just down here. It's like really cool to see. It doesn't happen too often. What's this? Oh, I found some chocolate. Nice. I'll take it. That would be Time awesome. All right. Day. So we got Lucy down here. I know that Lucy really likes fish. I think maybe she might appreciate fish more than the turnip dish. You didn't have to, but I'm happy you did. Thanks. You're welcome. What a nice day. Wake up. Go for a jog. Take a lunch break. Go yeah. for another jog. The best time to go running is in the cool of the evening. It's a great way to end the day. That does sound quite nice, actually, I have to say. <laughs> All right, let's give out some gifts. Oh, gave me something. Oh, God, that was a rubbish gift. A fish fossil. An ancient fish fossil some collectors would kill to find one. Like, really? I think the game's just trying to make me feel better about my terrible gift, I though. <laughs> but all right. All right, there we go. Awesome. Let's see what you say. Perfect weather for a nap. You nearly fell asleep. Okay, let's see what you got. All right, time to find some more mysteries. You know, Cecil, that cap really suits you. I'm glad you noticed, Multi. I'm a detected detective after all, so I need to look the part. You definitely do. I know I shouldn't put st style over substance, but putting on this cap is a real transformative experience. It makes me feel like the real deal. Oh, good. <laughs> they say you should dress for the job you want. I admire your passion for your work, Cecil. <laughs> Y you do? <laughs> Hearing you say that right to my face makes me blush. Aw, bless you. So cute. Okay, we got a scarlet over here. A wild Wonderful. scarlet. There you go. And we got a Martin here as well. And a Lucas. So let's gift all these guys this some things as amazing. well. All right, I think he was happy about that, so that's good. How pleasant the weather is today. If anything should happen, report to me immediately. Okay, I will. Nice days like this makes it hard to stay cooped up. Have you found any rare ores? Okay, the sky is in a very pleasant mood today. Do you like reading, yes. Lucas? Indeed I do. Books contain knowledge and wisdom accumulated across many ages. All of it interesting. Would you care to borrow one of mine, Nemosi? That is a dense tome. Oh boy, we'll be there reading it until the end of time. It will be a crazy situation. We might never finish it, right, at that rate. Can I fall down here? Little shortcut. <laughs> It's just like, I don't know, I didn't want to walk as far. <laughs> okay, why is Beatrice in Palmos? That's interesting. Maybe she wants Palmo to make her something. I'm curious, actually. Let's find out what is going on at Palmos today. Looks like she's helping out or something. Just in time, Mosi. Would you please stop this woman? What, what is she doing? Intense stare. <laughs> Oh god, it looks like she's doing something that makes them feel very uncomfortable. I don't know. <laughs> I think she's probably messing something up. I'm not sure. She's probably just trying to help out. Whatever she's doing, Palmo and Riker do not appreciate it, that's for sure. I can't tell if Palmo is angry or what, but they've been like this for a while and I'm just about near my wit's end. <laughs> what in the world is going on? What is she even doing? 
goodness, what a smashing vase. I'll put this lovely flower in it. <laughs> no, no, that's a water pitcher. We drink out of it. <laughs> we can wrap that darling little cactus up in this red cloak and he'll just look like a royal guardsman. She's trying to make everything really pretty. <laughs> She's giving everything a womanly touch. <laughs> that's a curtain and the spines will ruin it. Sure, it might make a half-decent scarecrow, but still... My stars! If you stacked up all these luminescent boxes, you could keep a shop open late into the evening, yes? A lamppost made of paper lanterns? That's actually kind of awesome, but a fire hazard, too dangerous. You get the idea. Uh, yeah, I see. I feel like she's being quite forward, which I'm really shocked to see from Beatrice because I always thought she was really shy and didn't know how to talk to people and she's kind of being a little bit bold here, wanting to decorate their shop and doing things that they don't necessarily want her to do. So I'm actually quite surprised about that, but it just goes to show that she's working hard trying to build up some bonds with the villagers here. So I guess that's another way to, to look at it too. A curious wooden block. Whatever could it be? It has a small opening. Oh, I wonder if that's like some kind of secret thing. Maybe where Riker keeps his secret diary or something. I don't know. Look, but don't touch. You break it, you buy it. Everyone is so serious in here today. <laughs> Aha, this must be a mouse trap. What? I doubt it. If I hurry, I can find a place infested with vermin and put it to work. Wait a what? This girl's weird. <laughs> Ugh, no, wait. That's a vanity case made from an aromatic wood and it's worth more than I make in a year. It's really worth that much? Oh my god. Pardon me, but are you saying this bauble is expensive? It doesn't look like much. I mean, if she broke it, Beatrice could more than make up for the loss. Like, I'm sure she's loaded. <laughs> she lives in a palace. Like, I'm sure she could just borrow it from her dad or something. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. Were you raised in a monster barn? Whatever qualifies for normal, where you come from, this ain't it. <laughs> oh my god, staring intensifies. Palmo doesn't know what to do, he's speechless. <laughs> he doesn't know how to handle this situation. You know, if you keep screwing around like this, Palmo's gonna flip his lid. I think he already is in the process of it. <laughs> Could you please leave before you end up pestering our other customers? Shock and awe, this is splendiferous, the apex of taste, I can see the lights and how radical its radiance is. Oh, Palmo is happier than I was expecting him to be. <laughs> That's surprising. Okay then, it looks like he's happy. That's good. <laughs> you never know how Palmo is going to react, he's such an oddball. Even Riker was like shocked. <laughs> Galloping galoshes of goodness, young lady. You are brimming with inventive ideas. <laughs> oh my god, I've never heard such a sentence before. It's really, like, he is really unique <laughs> with his language. This spirit sings with the singular super... What is that word? Super... Bitude? Super bitude? I don't know, never heard of that before. It must be just extra super or something. I don't know. Okay, it's like a gut punch of palliative perfection. What do you make of this? Come on, Palmo. This is just a regular partition screen, isn't it? I don't even see it. I have no idea what they're talking about. What have we here? Oh, I see now. This would make a most convenient apparatus for displaying a dress. Wow, okay, she definitely thinks differently. <laughs> An open display? Sweet sublimity! Oh my god, these two are getting on so well. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> the fact that she can get on Palmo's level definitely proves that she's abnormal. She, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening here, but I didn't expect them to get on so well. That's incredible. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we just found out that not only not only is Beatrice really kind, but she's also absolutely crazy and gets along with Palmo, which I really wasn't expecting, but okay. <laughs> All right then. All right, I'm glad your day is made, my friends. All right, do we want to buy anything today since we're like in here? Let's have a look. I don't actually know if I can afford anything. 
8,000. We're kind of getting close. I think I'm going to either buy one of these after we get a bit of wood. We just need a little bit, actually. Not that much. So we might actually be able to get one of those today. That would be great, actually. Yes, I am a, a great ball of sunshine. <laughs> Did you know, when I was still only a wee little me, I was afraid of heights. Oh, we share that in common. <laughs> I'm still kind of a bit shaky with heights, to be honest with you. I don't like them too much. I, I kind of tried to con conquer my fears. I went onto the Eiffel Tower once when I was younger and I was okay, but I'm still just like really shaky with it. I like even sometimes just like going into the attic like really freaks me out. Really like, I don't know, just scary but the Eiffel Tower wasn't as bad because it felt like I don't know I felt like safe and secure there so that maybe maybe that's why maybe I'm just maybe I just get scared when like I don't have like secure footing maybe I don't know <laughs> maybe it's natural to be scared with that though I'm not sure <laughs> really I'm surprised you decided to, to become an architect yeah you'd have to go to, so, to some quite high places to like do certain parts of houses hey, right People often say that to me. I did eventually overcome my fear. It was easier than I expected. Yeah, if you just like, if you just keep like putting yourself in situations that require you to overcome something you're scared of, eventually it will just become normal. It's like if you just do this, the, like if you're scared of something, but then you just keep doing it every day, every day, every day, every day, you'll just get used to it. And eventually, like most likely, in most cases, you'll probably just get so used to it that it won't be scary anymore. So yeah, I think like that is a pretty good strategy in overcoming fear it doesn't work in every case like some people can't handle being like exposed to their fear like con consistently like that but it is a good way of doing it if you can handle that for sure <laughs> like that makes a lot of sense to me um i simply became so absorbed absorbed in a building's construction that before i knew it i'd climbed all the way to the roof and after i did that a few times my fear was gone exactly it works it actually does work <laughs> that's really cool um that's good to know palmo like found out something new about you today it's really cool how you can just slowly just learn bits and pieces from the townspeople as you just converse with them like i really like that okay so we're going to we just need a tiny bit of stone so i'm just gonna see if i can just grab that real quick we only need like 80 of it or something so hopefully we're gonna be able to grab what we need and then get another cooking thing that we're going to be able to use to craft with. I also want to get some bread today as well if I have time so like that would also be great. I feel like I got a lot to do and not a lot of time. <laughs> I have a big list in my head of things I want to do but like that happens quite a lot when playing this game. There really is just so many things to tackle. I hope it's like this throughout my whole playthrough and I don't get to the point where I'm like ah uh, what do I do now? I think there have been a couple of moments where I've been like right what do I tackle next? next but it's not lasted long like I've always found something to do so it hasn't been like a big deal okay I want to I know where I want to go I want to go on the other side I actually took the wrong turning actually I want to go up the top there actually Reinhard is here let's go check out uh, Reinhard see if we can give him something that would be good I got some turnips for you there Wonderful. you go there you are. Awesome. Did you like it? Good. What beautiful weather. I I hear that you also take part in battles. How confident are you in your skills? I am extremely confident. Is that so? Then I hope you might consider training with me. I've not sparred with another person since coming here. Are you getting a little like itchy or something? Mm. Are you wanting to get into combat? <laughs> I had hoped that we might cross blades as training part partners. Right, I see. If we're not confident, then he's not going to like push for it, right? Because that would be a little inconsiderate, I suppose. Doug is also out, so I'm going to see if I can quickly get to him. I think he's going into the lack of daisy. I might not have time. I might not be able to catch him. Looks 
looks like he's gonna go in there any- Yeah, I missed him. Damn it. <laughs> well, never mind. I'll have to find him some other time. I don't think Doug is that important anyway. I don't think you get heart events from the DLC, like, characters, you know, the optional characters here. So, it's not really, like, that big of a deal to, like, friendship them, like, compared to some of the other characters. So, I don't mind too much, actually. Alright, so, let's get the stone down here. Shall we charge? Might actually be close enough to hit both. Yeah, we are. Cool. Let's do that again, actually. It takes a while, though. You only get, like, one out of each side. I'm wondering if this is faster. I don't know. Feels like a lot of effort, doesn't it? Oh, no. And some, some are despawning. <laughs> That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, I don't know if that was faster or not. I feel like it was actually slower, but whatever. I tried it. <laughs> this is probably, like, one of the only opportunities I've had where the like actual stones have been close enough for me to even attempt it so like it was kind of nice i guess i thought i destroyed all the boxes up here but it looks like there's another one i guess i'll destroy this one too anything there's nothing there strange very strange okay then um, i'm just gonna take this shortcut down here actually woohoo <laughs> can make it like a little slide down there why not all right we're gonna go put this into um the storage and then we're gonna see if we got enough hopefully we do we need 80 lumber and then we'll see if we can buy some cooking stations or something that would be great all right let's see how much we got here 87 perfect like just just made it so that's great actually let's go and we're gonna go and buy this and then i might use up some of my rp so then i can go into the bathhouse just after that as well i see a mrs sagi let's go like? give her a gift whilst we're here there you go my friend thank you Alrighty, okay. I thought she was going to give me a gift and got excited, but nope. <laughs> Thank you for what you did. We've received a shipment of goods and not a moment too soon. Things are finally calming down. Hina is so relieved to see everything back to normal. She's even been helping me around the store. Stop by whenever you need something. Okay, good. This is probably like after helping with the grasslands, I guess. Um, so how's the store? We have a steady stream of customers so Hina and I can live a comfortable life. Okay, Absolutely good. Delighted. Good stuff. I'm glad things are going well for you. It's actually rare to see um, Mrs. Sagi outside. She's usually in her shop, so just must be a day off today or something. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, let's go get some bread. I nearly forgot, actually. We haven't brought any bread today. Let's do that real quick. There's probably going to be a lot of people in the Lack of Daisy as well. So I think I might make a stop over there too. That would be great. Are you not open right now? Oh, they're not open. It's like lunchtime for everyone, isn't it? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> well, here you go. There you are. Got some turnips for you as well. There you go. All right, cool. No gifts for us, sadly, though. Oh, Mousy, I heard you played a big role in driving out those monsters. I did. Take this bread as our way of thing saying thanks. Wait, where? What, what bread? You lie. <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> I thought he actually gave me some, but he didn't. <laughs> have you settled into your life here in Rigbath? I have. Yes, it's going great. Isn't today lovely? Okay, and talking about the adventurer, which I have actually had this dialogue before, so nothing nothing new there. I guess I'll have to come back later for my recipe bread. It's just not a good time. I might just try like in an hour's time or something, because I don't think I've quite come at a good time. I'll leave the lackadaisy as well, because... I might not be able to like get served i don't know but yeah it doesn't seem like a great time right now does it i always seem to enter when like they're eating or just like having lunch or something like that such a pain in the butt but it's fine okay let's go back into palmos and we're going to hopefully buy something now that we have the stone that we need so that would be good oh no palmo don't tell me are you having your snack as well <laughs> Oh, it's just like snacking time for everyone, isn't it? How long do you snack for? Where are you? I don't know. I get so confused sometimes. Are you in here? No, I'm a bit confused. I thought I went downstairs. Where are you? I don't know. Oh, you're down there? Oh, I've never seen you down here before, actually. What are you eating, I wonder? Looks tasty. Okay, he's got no more dialogue. This sucks. Everybody's busy having, like, food and stuff like that. Do you think they'll stop at, like, three or something? How long do they eat for? 
It's what I want to know. It is cool that they do other stuff, but it's just like a bit frustrating when you're like wanting to do something, <laughs> you know? It's like so annoying because like I can't can't do anything there. All right, what time? Let's see. They're open. Let's see. Is it holidays? Today? Oh, they're closed now. That's it. They're closed until 2 p.m. Oh, no. That's probably why. What about the bathhouse? Is the bathhouse closed or are they like, are they open today? holidays they are still open so like that's good oh my god everybody's coming out oh my god it's like a meeting day or something everybody is about i don't think i'm gonna be able to buy bread today either then i guess i left it a little bit too late which sucks but never mind okay so i'm just gonna let me give you actually i was gonna give this to livia wasn't i yeah i was do i give them do i give her one of these melons I'll make sure to use it carefully. She seemed to like it, so like that's good. Daruk is up here. I'm gonna give Daruk something. I don't know what. What do you think Daruk would like? What about some grape juice? Do you like grape juice, my friends? Yes, sort of. Neutral. So that's what sort of weapon do you prefer? Let's see. I think I would prefer like what's easier. Cool being a cool weapon is awesome. I have to admit, I do like the ones that look cool, but the easier the better, I think. Anything that gets the job done. So something practical. I think that over a bit. Yes, please. That would be great. Whatever looks cool. When my weapon looks awesome, I feel awesome. <laughs> I guess starting with form and lesson function follow could be fun every once in a while. I'm guessing he does practicality over you know what it actually looks like i'm assuming which makes a lot of sense that does make sense uh let's see i'm really running out do you want some chocolate i got some chocolate there he liked it good good stuff the weather sucks really it doesn't it's not even raining like what are you talking about same dialogue with that guy sadly but that's okay is there anybody else i think i've gifted everyone else who are like outside right now where's fuka at i kind of want to see fuka but i don't know where she is oh she's in the she's in the bathhouse with um, mirakumo at the moment but i think actually i'm going to use a bit of my rp because i do think the bathhouse is open today i think anyway hopefully i'm not mistaken but i'm pretty sure that they are so i'm going to just do i want to level this up what's my skill for like my stuff let's have a look see what like we're we're the lowest with farming 28 okay let's see cooking is 19 might do a bit of cooking chemistry is nine my chemistry is really low actually i should probably do something about that i think i'm gonna do a bit of chemistry today since it is really really low we could definitely level this up quite a significant amount so that's what i'm gonna do at the moment just work on this a little bit already went up to 10 <laughs> yay good stuff i'm gonna have to get some recipe bread for all this stuff too right that's gonna be fantastic i would say how much of this scrap metal have i got i think i've actually got quite a lot let's go with a decent amount <laughs> i probably should be doing them one at a time apparently but I don't know, I'm just being a bit lazy. Just go for 40 of them. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> so much, so much skill, so much. It's, um, my storage box. I still got quite a lot of stuff in here, but yeah, maybe I should slow down a little bit. There's other stuff I can use as well, though. So there is that. I leveled up quite a bit there, so that's super nice. Actually, I would like to go up a little bit more. Oh yeah, look, look at all these look at all these we can use these as well sweet all of these in my inventory let's use these up too uh that's all my rp right now so do i want to go over a little bit let's go over a little bit see how much like we use up here i got all these x potions to to use in here as well level 16 on it is not bad all right how much further do you think we could go 70 put me to halfway i could probably do a tiny bit more than that but not too much just do like a couple maybe just like four or something okay that's a good stopping point hopefully we can like go to the bathhouse or something 
like that would be really good. Let's go to the bathhouse and hopefully Murakumo is working the desk today. I hope he is because I really need it and I'm hoping to do just like a little bit more on the increasing the skills because I'm really like trying to work hard on that actually. So yeah I'm hoping that we'll be able to do something something more with that but it's going well so far. Oh good 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 you're actually working the, the house today so that makes me happy um I'm just gonna give you some honey I don't know what to do with it there you go take it <laughs> you off somewhere cloudy days are great hey Mossy, thanks so much for what you did guests have finally started pouring back in if that had gone on for much longer we might have had to close up shop for good oh no was it really like that bad was it really that dire of a situation okay I'd like to have a bath today thank you all right, it looked like he was thinking about it for a moment. It was like a little delay there, but it's fine. Fuka's having a great time in the bath today. I wonder if we can still give her gifts in the bath. I'm going to try. I got a fish and I know she would like it. It's just whether or not she'll take it while she's like busy like doing that. I'm not sure if she will or not. So I guess only time will tell. Let's go see what's happening over here. Hey Fuka, how is it going? I like the like little patterns she's got. See like little patterns on her legs? You see that? It's kind of cool. It's going on the other leg as well and on the shoulder some like markings and stuff on her body it's interesting i wonder what they mean i don't know anyway i got a fish for you take that she liked it the sky is fighting thank you mossy the restaurant is busy again and now i'm overwhelmed but i'm happy too good to know that is awesome all right so fuka is happy so that is really nice that we got full rp again which is great as well i am gutted that palmo is closed today but there's always another day to, like, you know, see him. Oh my god, look at all the peoples! Oh my gosh, is there anyone here I haven't gifted? Pretty sure that I have actually gifted everyone today. I'm trying to work out if there's anyone I missed. I think Simone I missed. And maybe... Did I see? I think I did see so already. I think it's only Simone and Elsjay. Yes. I think only those two characters. I don't really have any, like, gifts to give them, though. Like, I barely have anything. Uh, I could just give them a melon or something. Maybe I could do that. I don't know. I don't know what to give them. I kind of want to give them something. Oh, there's also Heinz as well. I'm not that bothered about Heinz, but I guess I could just give him a melon or something. He he said thanks, so I think he liked it. So that's good. Thanks a bundle, Mosey. We finally have new crystals in stock. All thanks to your stand-up, I mean, upstanding service. <laughs> I always appreciate new material for my wares and for my jokes. Okay, good. I'm glad to make you happy. How much did these melons sell for, by the way? 850? I should have been selling these. <laughs> I regret giving any of them away now. I didn't realise they sold for such a massive chunk of change. I'm going to sell the rest. <laughs> I'm not giving these away as gifts. <laughs> it's a waste. But it's okay. I didn't realise like at the time so it's 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 okay all right we'll make sure to sell the rest of them that would be good so let's sell those is there any do i want to sell these i don't really know what you can do with those i might be able to like use it for crafting or something i don't pick those up very often if i'm being honest so i don't really i don't really know i've got some space in my storage now because of how much of that like how much of that stuff I used so that's good I suppose I'll probably store those shoes now I might actually get rid of those shoes eventually like I don't think I really need them anymore <laughs> don't know why I'm keeping them to be fair all right we got two more people to give gifts to I'm wondering do I have any dishes or anything like that in here some manju some rice not really much honestly just a little bit not too much going on. Shall I just give them fish? Who is it left? Who's left? Simone and... Who was the other one? Simone, I could just give a herb. I'm just going to give this medicinal herb to Simone. And the other one was Elsjay. That was it, Elsjay. I guess I could give Elsjay a fish. 
I got like quite a lot of them. I think it's like a neutral gift with LSJ. So yeah, it'll probably be okay. So we're going to do that. Still don't have any requests or like anything like that to do. So we're going to make a trip to Simone and LSJ. And then after that, I believe all the villagers would have been gifted today. And we should have got some nice relationship points. What is actually my points at now? Let's have a look. See if we got any that have like just been increased a lot. Oh, Reinhardt's nearly level four. So that's really good. Level five there. Okay, nobody's close to like level six or anything, but you know, we're getting there slowly. So that's good. Okay, LSJ. Hello, girl. What are you doing today? Chopping up a fish. You know what? I got another one just here, just for you. I'll take it. Good. Uh, I tend to stay in the restaurant on rainy days. I finally had time to myself. Now we're swamped again. Who did this? I must find out who's to blame. <laughs> for, for, for bringing in business? Never mind. A witch hunt takes too much effort. <laughs> I think she must be like the only one who's like not happy about like the increase in business. Everyone else is like, thank you so much, Morty. LJ is just like, how dare you? Let me hunt down the person who did this. <laughs> it's quite funny. I like that. I like how she's so different, you know, compared to the other characters. Uh, I got this herb for you. I know you like these herbs. So there you go. All right. So good work eliminating those monsters. Thanks to you, peace has returned. As mayor, I'd like to offer you my gratitude on behalf of the entire town. Thank you, Morty. I always forget that well. Simone's like actually the mayor isn't she but it's like kind of weird because it feels like Livia should be the mayor since she's like the one who's like in charge of like getting rid of the monsters and she gives you all the quests and stuff and I, I often forget that she's not the mayor it just seems really bizarre to me but yeah I don't know just like the way it goes I guess I'm not really sure. It's very strange, but yeah, we'll just we'll just go with it, I suppose. All right, let's collect any herbs uh, around here or anything. It's quite a lot of herbs that you can collect every day, so that's great. All right, now to get back to increasing our crafts a little bit. That would be really good. I got quite a few of these like potion things to use up, so. We may as well do those. That would be really good. I've got loads of these to use. So I'm just going to use as many as I can here. Level 20. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Catching up with like, you know, we're catching up with this now. Because this was really low before. So it's great to see. Not going to have much RP after this. I'm going to do some harvesting after this, actually. That's now on 23. Hopefully, we're going to be able to use lots of, like, bread and stuff for this as well. Maybe 100? Try 100. Actually, you could do a little bit more than that. So I'm going to get down a little bit more, actually. We could definitely get down a bit more. Oh, I didn't mean to put two in there. We don't want two. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> okay, let's go with like 150. Okay, we're good. Let's leave it at halfway for now. There's still some more potions in there that we can use, but like we're not in a rush. It's fine. We'll do it tomorrow. Like no point in overextending ourselves. Um, There is a couple of like things up in the like, you know, on the top on the dragon that I left because of RP. So here we go. Here you go. Some lovely RP there. Hopefully we'll get a tiny a bit more but it's okay if we don't we'll have to see I suppose anything else to like grab here okay we got some got some like fodder here to grab as well so let's grab all of this goodness that'll be great okay I think that might be everything I don't think there's anything more to oh hang on I've got some potatoes <laughs> sometimes I forget about those so easy to forget about the potatoes because it's kind of hard to tell when they're like ready to be harvested I just accidentally oh my god what am I doing <laughs> I don't know I'm trying to pick up this one I thought it was ready oh it's not ready that's not that's why it's not working <laughs> dull okay I'm just gonna tap a over the whole field I think that might be it though so that's fine all right let's put this away there we go and I think I picked up a couple of seeds and stuff so I think I'll be able to plant a little bit here. I don't think I got much. Actually, this is probably more than enough. So I got some fodder seeds and some stuff like that. So yeah, that's good. Let's uh just kind of charge this up. Does all four. Nice. All four of them just watered in one go. Very nice to see indeed. 
I like that. Let's see. I'm gonna get some... I think I'm gonna use the rest of my RP on collecting. That would be a good idea because we're actually really low on like supplies, resources and that kind of thing. So it would be really cool to, to do that a little bit I think before we go to bed. We've done a lot of stuff with crafting and stuff like that recently and we managed to boost our stuff up quite a bit so that's great. I only wish I had something for my axe <laughs> but we will eventually. I can't believe how bad my axe is in comparison to like the rest of my stuff. <laughs> It's just like, it's a bit embarrassing. Don't look, guys, don't look. <laughs> it doesn't exist, okay? My axe is as good as the rest of my tools. You just don't know it. It's just in disguise. <laughs> I swear it. That's what's going on here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what other heart events and stuff like that pops up tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to get any, like, I don't think we're going to get any now, right? It's a bit too late. Oh, some more chocolate. I managed to get like two lots of that. That's pretty decent, I have to say. I'm quite happy with that, so that's cool. All right, lots of lumber up here for me to grab. So let's do that. Perfect. So much gathering in this game. <laughs> I really have done a lot of this like throughout uh, the playthrough, right? It's just like, it never seems to be enough. There's always, there's always something that requires an ungodly amount of lumber <laughs> but it's fine we'll we'll get there eventually i can't wait for the moment where i can just like chop the stumps down in like one hit that's gonna be so good like charge it up and then just go club lamo and take everything down and we'll be able to get so much stuff and i'm sure we'll get to that point like eventually so that would be really interesting right that would be so cool all right, let's, you know, chop these up after this is done. I might see if I can make a couple of turnip dishes and then I think maybe I'm ready to put my character to bed. Maybe. It's kind of early. It's sort of, for me anyway. <laughs> I always put my character to bed at like two o'clock in the morning. So this is actually early, like for me to put her to bed. But it's just a little awkward to get some RP back for today. So... Yeah, I don't know. I might not like push my luck here. We're also a bit we're a bit low for sure. But I think it's been quite productive. Quite productive indeed. <laughs> so that's really good. Alright, let's go back home and we are going to see what's happening. We're gonna make a few turnip dishes for tomorrow. That would be super cool. But yeah, you can see how bad the axe is. It's just like held together with like string and like the the blade is all just like horrible it's surprising that it hasn't broken at this point right you would think that such a terribly made axe would have just died a long time ago <laughs> it's just holding on I don't know how but it's just it's just holding on all right there you go lots of lovely lumber over there so that's great so what am I doing I'm making some turnips that's what I was gonna do and then I think bedtime so let's make a couple of these since I just harvested some actually so there you go perfect I think I just had enough like rune points to actually deal with that so that's great good stuff I don't know if I gifted Livia today I feel like I didn't because I feel like I didn't have anything for her so I'm just gonna gift her one of these turnip dishes there you go I feel like I didn't but I don't know I might have just like forgotten or something what is it multi is this your way of saying you want to join seed again no that's not I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'll wait patiently until you've found your answer. Have I not found my answer yet? <laughs> you would think that I would have. Okay, yeah, I've already seen this dialogue from Livia, actually. Okay, definitely time to go to bed. I think it was uh, an okay day, actually. I feel like I got a little bit done, so that was good. Got a heart event, a little bit of story progression. Hopefully, we'll get even more tomorrow. That will be great. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to stop here for now. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it'll be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello I would really love that thank you so much for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time